Okay, so now we're going to, we added the weapon and the ammo to the player and we're going to have some animations that have the player using a bow and arrow to shoot the weapon. Um, but that leads to sort of a combination of the player um, walking left, right, up, down, and in conjunction with him being able to fire in any direction. So we're going to introduce, we're going to reconfigure our animations and use something called blend trees that are sort of a simplifying technique for combining uh, different dimensions of, of animations. So let's get started with that. All right, first thing to do is let's select the player object prefab. Let's double click him. And let's create a little better view of the animation controls. So I'm zooming in on the original animations that we did. Um, and what we want to do, we're sort of starting from scratch again. So we want to delete these other states. So player walk east, delete, west, delete, north, and south. And we're sort of left with um, Pull the exit state up here. Doesn't really matter. I just want them close together. Okay. So next, in the animator window, we want to right mouse and select create state from new blend tree so now we have a blend tree here so we want to select that node and we're going to change the name in the inspector to walk tree <clears throat> walk tree okay Now, you can see if we double click this guy, you can see this blend tree graph, and that's the way it should look. So, select the blend tree, or rather this dialog, and we want to modify the blend type up here to be 2D simple directional. 2D simple directional. And then selecting the node again, we want to right click and select add motion. So here in this blend tree dialog, click the plus sign and we want to add motion here so clicking this we should see our animations and we want to select first player walk east okay so let's make this bigger so we can see so we've added player walk east and we want to add the others as well Oops, that's not what we wanted to do. Uh, actually, it is. So we want to add another motion field. This time we're going to select south. Air walk south. Add another motion field. Air walk west. And another motion field. Finally, player walk north. Okay. Now, by 
move this guy over. We have this blend tree of the four animations of uh, directional walking. Okay, now click on base layer in the animator pane, and this will get us back to our view here where we see our walk tree, um, but it's, those four states are encapsulated in the blend tree. So next we're going to modify some of the animation parameters. So first thing we want to do is delete animation state. So if I select that right mouse, delete. And then we want to add other parameters. So first, we're going to add a Boolean is walking. And we'll add a float x direction xdir. And we'll add another float y direction y dir. Now we're not going to use this parameter blend that was created uh, so to keep things clean I'm going to right mouse and just delete it. So we have is walking boolean extra and wider floats and good to go. Okay now select walk tree double click on it actually and then select the blend tree node. We'll see there's parameters up here, so we're going to select extra and wider as parameters. And then we want to set this grid of parameters across these animations to the following. One zero. And zero, negative one, negative one, zero, zero, oops, zero, one. So your grid XY should look like this for east, south, west, and north. One, zero, zero, negative one, negative one, zero, zero, one. Next, we want to go into each of the animations and make sure that loop time is selected for each. Uh, this will cause the animation to loop until the state is transitioned. So east, looks like they're all set. South is set. West is set. North is set. So that looks good. Next. The loop time. Loop time is set. So now let's go back to our base layer. Now we're going to want to transition from idle state uh, into the walking tree, walk tree. So I'm going to move this guy over here. Next to idle, get a little more space here. And we want to create a transition, make transition from idle to walk tree. And that, select that transition, go to settings. So we want has exit time to be unchecked. And we want fixed duration unchecked. Transition duration zero. 
interruption source none that's good and then we want a condition we're going to transition from idle to the walk tree when is walking is true so that looks good there next we want to update our script movement controller let me collapse some of these and go down to our scripts. We have a movement controller. So I'm going to bring up, double click on movement controller, wait for Visual Studio to come up. Okay. Next, in File Explorer, we want to go to the Chapter 8 directory, and we notice we have a revised movement controller. Double click that. That shows up in Visual Studio. Control A, select all text. Control C for copy. Go to our existing Unity movement controller. Control A and Control V for paste the new code in. Save that. X out of the author's resource and that finishes revising uh, movement controller script. Now I'm going to go back to Unity. I'm going to go back to our scene and click play. And our player with revised animations should still retain the same uh, motions. So that's good. We have our blend tree. It's ready to add the animations for um, his bow and arrow. So we'll stop there and continue in the next one.